This is the ZWO electronic filter wheel. This particular model can take eight one and a quarter mounted filter wheels or seven 36 millimeter unmounted filter wheels. Here's what's in the box. It comes with a filter wheel. This has M42 threads on one end and then you can slip in a one and a quarter inch eyepiece on the other. This adapter is M42 male on one side and M42 male on the other side. This is a one and a quarter inch nose piece and on the other side is an M42 male thread. Comes with a little screwdriver. Here are some filter masks. These have three holes each. And then here are the screws. These are M2 by four. Okay, so now I've just plugged it in uh, to the ASI Air, and here is the app. And then we can advance these one at a time by just changing the position. On the filter wheel itself, it has M42 female threads on both sides. So to mount the filters, just take off this plate. Now on the inside, what you will see is you will see the threads for a standard one and a quarter inch filter. But you'll also see a little bit bigger space here with a recess. And what that's for is that if you would like to mount unmounted filters, 36 millimeter in that, and then use the included filter masks. So I'm just gonna put hydrogen alpha as the first one. Then I'm going to put sulfur 2. Here's O3. And in the fourth slot, I'm going to put a CLS filter. Okay, I want to make sure that, that everything goes smoothly. I'm going to reconnect it to the ASI Air. And then I'm going to test it. So here in the AS app, I'm just going to name them so I know what they are. And that's really easy to do. You can put in anything you want up to about four or five characters, something like that. Okay, so let's test this. And then let's choose a filter. Sulfur. CLS. And then just go to an empty position. All right. And we can just go back to our hydrogen alpha. So it's very simple. It's just a piece of cake. It's nice and quiet. And that's going to save a lot of time, especially at night. And also it won't damage the filters by potentially making a mistake in the middle of the night. Okay, now let's look at how you might connect this to your camera and to your telescope. So here I have an adapter that can accept an eyepiece on one side and an M42 male on the other. 
And the reason I'm going to start out this way is that although when you put the ca camera in, you're farther away from the filter wheel, what this allows me to do is that I can put an eyepiece in and I can s check the primary focus and I can uh, kind of work out some of the bugs. Now later on, what you can do is you can just take this off, or if you want to do it right away, and then put in this adapter. Now in this configuration, you can uh, screw it in directly. And that will get your camera just as close as possible to the filter. And so when I work out all the bugs, this is how I want to run it. But in the meantime, I'm going to use the nose piece on the camera to go directly into this piece right here. Okay. Now on the telescope side, you have options. So your T2 adapter, if you have a two inch, a T2 adapter, just screw that in. Now I've calculated the back focus that I need and so I have a spacer here and this does not come with the kit. This is a spacer kit and I have a whole bunch of different ones that they screw in. They have a male M42 on one end and a female on the other. And then you can uh, adjust the, the spacers that you need to get the correct back focus length. But in, in my particular case, this works out well, and then I'll put the nose piece on, and then put that directly in my eyepiece. And when I upgrade my uh, refractor and I have a two inch, well then I would just change the adapter and the configuration on this side. But for now, this is going to get me going.